What's up, everybody? France is back again. And tonight, I feel like I owe you guys an explanation. Um, because if you were here a couple weeks ago, or maybe a month ago now, uh, I said I'd be back with a video every week from then on. And before that, it was already a month before, or since I had posted anything. So, that's unacceptable. Um, I did post the Byton review after that, so at least there's that, but still. No excuse. Anyway, um, I figured new year, some new gear, and, uh boatload of spinners that I need to review so why not start with something really awesome and tonight we are taking a look at the atrium spinner both in brass as well as stainless steel but for tonight's purposes we're gonna be focusing mainly on this guy the brass one. Just because I put a little more work into it than the stainless steel. Uh, with that being said, let's get on with it. Now, this spinner had a whole lot of hype behind it. Because um, Tom Lennett and his team at Unquiet Hands did one hell of a job trying to market this thing. Uh, it's the only spinner that I've really seen with a trailer. Yes, a trailer. <laughs> and it just made this spinner shine. Um, with good reason though. It's just, it's not glitz and glamour that is clouding everyone's judgment because everybody loves this thing. Uh, the design is very comfortable. Um, it's got very nice ergonomics, these buttons are great, and just overall, very, very nice to fidget with. Uh, preloaded flicks, forward flicks, you name it, man, you can do it. Um, I don't really test spin time because, uh, you know, uh, I'm not really into that kind of thing. So, if that's important to you, um, you can probably find someone who's done a spin test. But, me, I'm a fidgeter. I, I, I can't go without more than a minute. Actually, more than 30 seconds without spinning this thing. And that's not a bad thing by any means. Because that's what these things are for. The er like I said, the ergonomics are very great. There isn't really any hot spot to this. Not even impact points when you stop it. It's just very nice to fidget with. Um, these curves offer a very nice way to hold your spinner. It's very comfortable. And these uh, flats here, they're not exactly flat either. Uh, they actually taper outwards, and um, they give the spinner a lot of weight in the corners, which I would only assume is great for spin time. Um, I like that they added trent slots, because it's always good to have that option. Um, but I, I can understand why some people wouldn't like it. Oops. Uh, it th does have your standard bearing retention method, which I actually like. Um, I'm experimenting with a couple spinners that have different uh, ways of uh, keeping a bearing in, but I still really like this. It's very simple. No fuss, no muss, you know. But anyway... This is a pretty hefty spinner. I believe 
it weighs pretty close to a hundred grams if I'm not mistaken here let's see wait for this guy and we got 95.1 grams as for the stainless steel We have 88 grams even, which is great. Uh, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it actually feels a bit more flightier, or yeah, I guess that's a good word for it, flightier than the brass version. It's It feels a bit faster to uh, fidget with. Now, the atrium comes with a whole bunch of extras. Uh, it comes with not only the uh, certificate of authenticity, you got your bearing retention tool, or yeah, bearing removal tool, um, an extra uh, bearing for feedback. Uh, I think it's a full hybrid ceramic bearing. And they also give you two sets of buttons. As you can see, this is the, um, I believe, I, I, I keep uh, getting these two confused, but one is called the Cap uh, Capola caps, and one is called the Canopy. Um, personally, I like them both. I find that the, uh, whichever one this is, is a bit, a bit too, uh, slippery at times, but I feel like this, the, uh, this ridge here is perfect. I absolutely love this set of buttons. I wish I could get more. Which I probably can, actually. Anyway, uh, where was I? Um... There isn't a whole lot that I can think of to fault this spinner. Um, durability is great. Um, fidgeting is great. The price point is actually phenomenal. Um, I believe it was like 40, 40 to forty-five dollars at the time when I bought bought these, or bought this one at least. Um, but they will hike up in price just because they miscalculated how much they should be charging, which I'm in agreement with a majority of people that this should cost at least a little more, if not more. But the reason I say that I only bought this one was because I actually won this one in a in uh, Unquiet Hands giveaway when they launched the the atrium, and I am incredibly lucky to have the opportunity for uh, having both of these because I don't have a lot of money, uh, so. The fact that I was able to um, acquire both is really awesome. And I can't thank Tom enough and his team for getting this out to me. Because I love it. And despite the fact that I let my friend uh, carry it and he dropped it almost immediately. And then you can see that dent there. That really upset me. But, you know, I'm still really happy with this guy. And I can't recommend it enough. They are sold out at the moment. But they will have another drop. Uh, what seems like mid-January. 
So you're not waiting too far off to get one of these. And I'm probably going to get a few more. Uh, maybe a replacement for the stainless steel. Just so I have one without a dent. But I, I might hammer this one as well. So there's that. And they're also offering a bunch of new finishes and uh, materials, I think. Well, no. I, I may apologize for that. Just m new finishes. And that's got me all hyped up. Um, what else can I say about this thing? Yes. Uh, again, two thumbs up for me. I absolutely recommend this uh, design by Unquiet Hands and Tom Lanett. Uh, again, shout out to Tom because he's such a nice guy. And very, very involved in the community. And yeah, I can't, I can't praise them enough because they put out a good product. And they're keeping on with that because they have... So many more things to unveil. I can't wait to see what's next. And I hope you guys give them a look. Anyway, guys. Enough uh, with this, that. Because I think I've plugged them more than enough for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. No warp video today, but feel free to look at that in my Instagram. And again, with that, I will see you guys next time. Peace.